I am here with Bobby Lucas from the Chicago Steel, and we're going to talk all about how hockey players stay in peak condition. This exercise routine that we're talking about today is really a way for the players to maximize their performance on the ice. For the most part, it's something that just about anybody can do so we can build them up uh, from the foundation and then keep them on peak performance out on the ice. But yeah, a lot of functionality, a lot of mobility. This workout routine is helping the hockey players in their peak performance. A lot of people like me and everyone else sitting on the couch watching the show, they want to improve overall health. How does, how does that correlate together? We want to make sure they're moving correctly, which is something that just about everybody can do and use. There's a lot of correlation across our activities of daily living. Our players are high school students, so a common issue with them is tight hamstrings sitting around all day. And so to get them out of that position into uh, more dynamic and athletic positions can help obviously not only the Chicago Steel hockey players, uh, but general population as well. Give me a laundry list of the muscles we're working. Through the hips, we can train pretty much the full body, the muscles in on your backside, the glutes, the quads, and then a ton of core work. Okay, Bobby, so people can do these exercises off the ice, but today you're gonna show me how to do them on the ice. That's exactly right. I have three exercises, Jane, that I'm gonna show you here on the ice. Okay, let's get started. Let's do it. These guys right here, they're showing us how it's done. The first drill we have here, uh, we brought some of the guys to help demonstrate. Hi guys. Uh, is just shooting off of one leg. Very similar to what we might do off the ice with a squat or a single leg lunge. Uh, but we're just focused here on maintaining our posture and balance on that single leg as we then shoot the puck towards the net. Eee! So am I supposed to balance before I shoot or lift it up when I'm shooting? So eventually we'll get to the point where you're balanced that whole time while ah, you're shooting. But right now. Uh, but for right now, up. yeah, we got to start somewhere. It's yeah. in. What's exercise number two? So the next one Oops. we're going to work on is uh, <laughs> working both sides of our body at the same time. So just catching a pass on our forehand, giving it back, and then switching to the backhand, catching it there. We're going to be working a lot of our lower body, as you would expect, uh, but also our core. Bobby, I'm ready for the third exercise. Okay. I think. What is it? So the third exercise we're gonna work on is what's called the Mohawk turn. We're just gonna open up our hips, try to get our heels together, and then use that uh, to turn or protect the puck in a game. We wanna make sure we keep our hips open uh, and mobile. I gotta go slow. That's it. Okay, Bobby, let's recap what we learned today, and that is doing a hockey-based workout, whether you're on the ice or off the ice, is really a great way to get moving. Yeah, 100%. Changing things up a bit, keeping it creative, uh, keeping it fun, but it's definitely a way that both elite athletes can benefit and the general population can see some benefit from as well. Fantastic. So much fun. Thank you. Well, thank you for having us. Absolutely. For more motivation to move, just head to our website, livinghealthytv.com. Do you want more Living Healthy content? Well, check out these videos right here. And then subscribe for more right here.